Once again, we'll begin with a few questions from within the room and then turn it over to the media. Join us virtually. Go ahead, Nolan. Congrats on the win, JJ. I mean, wow, that was crazy. Uh, can you talk to me about that punch and, and just finishing the fight in absolutely emphatic fashion? 20 seconds. Yeah, that was really, I, I envisioned this throughout the whole week, ever since I got here. I, I envisioned that, that clothesline landing. So um, I just pulled it into reality. Yeah, and so that was something that coming into the fight, you were planning on doing because it seemed like that it wasn't a reactionary thing you waited for your moment and you went for it yeah so my plan was to go in there slow him down a little bit uh, my coach Janix, he kind of he kind of gave me the game plan he told me wait wait for him to slow down and then as soon as he does it throw that jab switch under that jab and then throw the uh clothesline so um it worked perfectly just as like my coach said it would and the last time you were in this building and you fought, you missed weight, you want a split decision. This time, you made it on the scales, you got a 20-second knockout. Was there, was there any sm small moral victories in that, too, just coming in and really having a flawless performance? Of course, I want to do a, a big shout-out to John Poppy with uh, Lockhart. I hired a nutritionist for this, and I dieted all the way up. I actually got here, and I woke up on weight. So um, that, was a big, that was a big thing for me to show everyone that I'm a professional. And then I came out here and finished the guy in the first 20 seconds, so... I hope that everyone knows that I'm here to stay. Yeah. And talk to me about where you think you go from here. I mean, I'm assuming you're, you're feeling fine. The fight was only 20 seconds. So do you feel like you're going to get a top contender fight out of a performance like that? 7-0 and overall, 6-0 and in Bellator. You certainly have your case. Yeah, definitely. I'm just going to see whatever whatever happens. My, uh, my management team is going to guide me through it correctly. So uh, I leave it all up to them. Yeah. I don't mind. I'll fight whoever they put in front of me. Is there any specific names that really interest you or just pretty much anyone? I'm, I'm down for anyone. Put someone in front of me and let's go. Cool. Thanks, man. All right. Hey, JJ, congratulations on, you know, a stunning victory. I thought that no one was going to beat that knockout from the first fight of the night. And uh, I think you were, you were well able to do that. Talk me through, you know, how you felt when, when you landed that what was what was going through your mind when, when that punch lands just as you had envisioned it in training beforehand and 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 everything had just worked out so perfectly? So where, as soon as my hand landed, I kind of looked at him. I was like, oh, that landed. And I saw his eyes roll back. And I was like, oh, that worked. And then I just carried on raining because I knew it was going to finish. And I, I was super stoked. I was proud of that. All my hard work, um, all my dieting, everything was done correctly. And I was uh, I was proud of myself to to come out and do that. Bellator have got the one card left this year, it looks like, in about uh, three weeks. Um, any chance you try to sneak onto that one, considering, I mean, you didn't take any damage at all tonight? Yeah, I'm, I'm perfectly healthy. We'll see what happens, you know. I'm, I'm down. I'm down to in fight term, next week. In terms of travel now, do you go back to New Zealand? Um, not currently. I live in San Diego, and I reside oh, okay. in San Diego. And do you think you'll get back to New Zealand at all? I know that getting back there is, is quite difficult right now. You have to do the two-week quarantine um do you plan on getting back there you know maybe for christmas or anything um not this time because of the coronavirus if i go back i have to quarantine in a hotel for uh two weeks and then i can actually get out and see some people so i want to wait for the whole coronavirus uh to the pandemic to calm down so then i can return home without having to quarantine for two weeks in a hotel last one for me uh you're in or around my age you're what 22 23 yes sir i'm 23 how have you managed socially during all of this? I know personally, it's been a real hit on my social life. We don't get to go out as much. We don't get to, to, to party and stuff. I mean, the celebration tonight or, or when you won back in July isn't going to be like the celebrations usually tend to be. How have you been dealing with, with living under the, the, the quote-unquote new normal? Um, you know, I'm not really a social guy. I just like to train, man, eat, go home, sleep. You know, for me, celebrating is uh, coming out here and fighting and that's how I celebrate. So for me, it wasn't a big, big effect. It just kind of changed things up, like having to wear a mask all the time and stuff like that. Simon? Hey, JJ, congratu congratulations on the win. I just have this one question here for you. Where does a, a knockout like that rank on uh, your list of finishes? Um, that was number one. You know, it was my first knockout ever. I've been trying to knock people out for the past eight years. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy I finally got it now. My next fight, I'm looking for the same thing. Keith? Hey, JJ, it's Keith Chillin from SureDog. Uh, I, every week it seems like we, we're talking to somebody from that region of the world, Australia, New Zealand. Ten years ago, that wasn't even a, a thought of. Like, there was nobody from that area that was really crushing it. Now it's like every week. Just talk to me about just the takeover from that, that region in MMA. Uh, so – 
10 years ago was kickboxing. You know, uh, in New Zealand, we had amazing kickboxers, you know, like Mark Hunt, uh, Ray Sefo, just to name a few, but we're, we're, we're beating everyone up in kickboxing. And then um, it took a while for them to transition into mixed martial arts, and I was still quite new there. Uh, so now we have an army of people coming through. So it's super exciting to see. Uh, one last question. You had a 20-second knockout. You, you just said that it ranks you know, your top finishes. But on the flip side, you didn't get you know, more cage time. You had to spend 24 hours quarantine in the casino. You put through a camp. Is it, you feel a little cheated that it came so easy that you didn't you know, get to really display you know, or, or you know, show more skills, show more ground, show more other stuff, and, and really get the time in instead of just 20 seconds? Uh, no, everything worked out exactly how I envisioned it. You know, that's exactly how I wanted to go, to get in there, finish them quick, less damage on my body, ready for the next one. All right, we'll take one or two more. Santiago. Hi, JJ. Congratulations on a beautiful performance. You told me that the weight cut with George Lockhart went better. What kind of tips did he give you? And uh, do you think you would have made the weight without George? I definitely would have made the, uh, I definitely would have made the weight without him. But uh, with him, he, he guided me through, throughout the whole two months and um, two, three months leading up to this fight. And we dieted, and by the time I got here, I was already underway, and I literally woke up on weight, which was perfect for me. I've never, ever woken up on weight. Usually, I, in the morning, I had to cut an extra two or three pounds, so it was actually, um, it was really good, and I had a lot of energy throughout the whole camp, so I was, that's why I really like him, and I'm going to continue using him. Do you think it would be a good idea if Bellator would come to New Zealand next year? Of course. That would be an amazing idea. If we can get Bellator to New Zealand, that would be awesome. Enjoy the victory, sir. Thank you. All right, JJ, thanks for the time. Congrats on the win. Thank you.